Deputy Kevin McKinty has worked for the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department since 2008 and lived here in this three-bedroom, two-bath near the Sierra and Tahoe with his wife and four kids. Got the call that it was a it was not a mandatory evacuation, but that there was going to be evacuations in the area. So my wife and I went up there and literally grabbed uh, a couple stuffed animals that my kids love, um, uh, my wedding ring, her wedding ring. His home being in the path of the Calder fire was the furthest thing from McKinty's mind as his mother was sick in hospice. And it, so this is all, it all happened all at once. So when, it, when mandatory evacuation came into play and it started, the fire started to move towards uh, well, like Horsetail Falls area, um, I knew that that was a wind tunnel. McKinty's mother passed away Saturday and on Monday while at her viewing, he got the second worst call of his life. He called me personally and he said, do you want to see pictures? And I, I said, uh, yeah. And he said, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Through the smoke and scorched trees, the only thing recognizable from McKinty's home is the rock chimney his uncle built. I knew it was mine because when you look at it, you see the bear box out front where we, you know, we had to protect our trash cans from the wildlife. And so we had a bear box out front and then I saw the stonework and I said, that's that's definitely mine. With the community of Tahoe reaching out to uplift the deputy, he plans to rebuild and bring life back to the Sierra that his family has called home for generations.